Okay, so point A is in fourth quadrant. Both plan elevation below x y. Point is in fourth quadrant. It is 10 below H P, 20 in front of V P. Point B is in V P, right? 20 above H P. Point C is 10 behind V P and 30 below H P is in third quadrant. Point D is in H P, 20 in front of V P. Right. Point E is in second quadrant. 20 above HP, 30 above HP, and 20, 20 behind, behind VP. Point F also is in second quadrant. 30, 30 behind VP, 20 above HP. Point G is again fourth quadrant. 40 above HP. Uh, uh, 40, 40, 40 below, below HP. HP. And 10 in front of. Huh. And point H is in first quadrant, 20 above HP, 30 in front of. And for this problem, here the plan is intersecting XY. So point is in, plan intersecting XY point will be is in, point kaha hoga? It will be in VP. Okay, so the line starts from third quadrant and cuts VP. So it enters into plan on XY point will be is in point is in VP. Plan is in the top view. It will cut VP. You answered it here, right? <coughs> so, it cuts VP. So, from third quadrant, when you cut VP, you are in the fourth quadrant. See, in this region, this point, elevation is on XY, point is in HP. For this portion of the line, both plan and elevation are below x y this portion is in fourth quadrant and from fourth it cuts h p and comes to the first quadrant right sometimes we get confused yes yeah. now for some time you don't have to draw anything just see we will understand it and then only we will proceed. We are starting with the next part, projections of lines. And considering line AB, which is 30 above HP and 20 in front of VP, the line is parallel to both HP and VP. So, where is the elevation of this line? It will be this is going to be elevation of point A, A dash, point B, B dash, and plan will be here. And length of the line, say, is 50. Length of the line is 50. So when we draw it on as a projection, 
we take 30 millimeters above we mark point A dash and point A it's plan and you will observe that whatever is the true length this is what we call it as the true length of the line that line will be seen in true length again point B will be at the same height this will be B dash this is elevation and this is going to be the plan of the line these are the projections of the line which is parallel to HP and VP both it's ok we can see the true length here and true length here when the line is parallel to both HP and VP that is our first case now even if I give you some line like this P dash Q dash and PQ both plan and elevation are parallel to XY that means line is parallel to HP and VP this is going to be the true length and the line is entirely in fourth quadrant right so whatever in the uh, conclusion we had initially same will hold good here for any line which I draw like this plan above elevation below line is completely in third quadrant but it is not parallel to HP or VP ok so we have first type of line which is parallel to both HP and VP so line parallel to HP and VP we will have elevation parallel to xy we will have plan parallel to xy right and elevation length so I will write it like this <coughs> is same as true length and plan length is also true length you understood the first case any doubt and now if I rotate this line by say 30 degrees or 40 degrees with HP keeping it parallel to VP so I will have to rotate this line so I have rotated it so point B goes here let us call this as original point B1 now if if the line rotates then what will happen even the elevation will rotate it is like a shadow so only line cannot rotate so elevation will also rotate and it will be here so this is my second line making some angle say theta with HP but it is still parallel to VP so these distances are fixed now if the line starts rotating in one direction that is parallel to VP but making some angle with HP you can imagine that that line starts rotating when you look from top when it becomes 90 degrees it will be seen as a point when it is parallel to HP it will be seen as true length and in between its length will start reducing because we know that the projector the point is going to remain on the same projector right it can't happen that elevation is here and plan is here so as this starts rotating slowly the point will start moving in this direction this is how the plan will start reducing and as we stop this plan will fix up itself at this position is the picture clear so we come across the second line it is parallel to 
VP and theta with HP. Now, if you observe, this particular angle will be seen here. This is how the elevation will rotate and this will be point B dash. So, this was B1 dash and B1. As that line rotates and sh shows this angle theta, its plan will move parallel to XY and will stop at this point. This will be the projection of the line and it will not be the true length. But still in elevation it is seen as true length. So when line is parallel to VP and making theta with HP, we can say that plan is parallel to XY. Line parallel to VP, plan is parallel to XY. Then length of elevation will remain length, true length of the line. Right? Exactly on the same way, if I rotate this line, making keeping it parallel to HP in this direction, then in the top view, it is going to be something like this. Initially, the line is parallel to both HP and VP. And I rotate the plan. Means I am keeping that line parallel to HP, but rotating it. It will make some angle say phi with VP. Rotation in one view in the front view direction. When the line is parallel you can see the true length. When I start rotating it this length will reduce. So it will reduce in the front view. This will be point B dash. This was original. Here it is still the true length. But the other length will be less. So we can even say here that in this case length of AB will be less than the true length and similarly the third statement when line is parallel to HP making phi with VP elevation will be parallel to XY plan length will be the true length and elevation length will be less than the true length ok would you draw this even if you don't draw this we want these figures and these wordings. This is line parallel to HP and VP. Line parallel to VP theta with HP. Line parallel to HP phi with VP. Right? <laughs> if you can, those who can draw this, draw it. If not, those. <coughs> Take a photograph and keep it with. Or what we should darken are only the final projections. Right? And you have compost, so you should use that. Huh? Hmm. Uh, I tried to show this line to be of same length. But even you are drawing it freehand and your length of the line is reducing. During rotation it won't happen so. Ok, now take down a few problems. Line CD. Line CD. Seventy millimeters long line C D seventy millimeters long. It's up to you. you. You can practice it, this is the good chance. So slowly your handwriting will improve if you write it in capitals there. Line C D seventy millimeters long has end C thirty above HP has end C 30 above HP and 20 in front of VP and 20 in front of VP
draw projections of line draw projections of line if line is parallel to hp if line is parallel to hp and makes 45 degrees with vp 45 degrees with vp and there are two cases number 1 when point d is in first quadrant and number 2 when point d is in second quadrant okay second problem line ef line ef measures line ef measures 60 mm line ef measures 60 mm point e is 15 above hp and 30 in front of vp point f is 45 above hp point f is 45 above hp line is parallel to vp line is parallel to vp draw projections find find angle made by the line with hp find angle made by the line with hp third line gh line gh has point g line gh has point g 20 above hp and 50 in front of vp and 50 in front of vp point h is 20 above hp point h is 20 above hp and 10 in front of vp and 10 in front of vp distance between projectors distance between projectors is 60 mm draw projections find true length of the line and angles with hp and vp and angles with hp and vp
distance between projectors is 60 find angles made by the line with HPVP as well as true length see see them and then only do them in the first problem to be solved in two different ways in all cases whenever the true length of the line is given and one end point is given remember the rule true length should be known and one point of the line should be known if this is the situation do not read the rest of the problem we will initially assume the line to be parallel to HP and VP because we can draw it and then we will think how to rotate it so like over here true length is given point is 30 above and 20 in front of so I can always mark that point C dash and point C and initially I will draw that line to be parallel to HP and VP both I won't darken it because this is not a final projection I will name that point as D1 dash and D1 very first step in most of the 90% of the problems this is our first step line considered parallel to HP and VP both so I have read this it is parallel to HP so I will have to remember it has to remain parallel to HP it will make some angle with VP if it is angle with VP angle with VP will be seen in plan angle with HP will be seen in elevation so it is the plan to be rotated by 45 degrees so if I rotate it in this direction by 45 degrees measure this angle 45 take the length equal to uh, how much 70 and cut the arc this construction should be visible no arrows to be shown this becomes your point D rotation in one view this is the most important statement rotation in one view is movement parallel to xy in other so when one view rotates that is d point is rotating in other view the d point will start moving parallel to xy so this rotation corresponds to movement parallel to xy and where will it stop when we get d here we should be taking the projection up i am showing these arrows so that you will understand the procedure i started with this horizontal i have rotated it to one then i have drawn this two this moves parallel i get point d dash and d because that is what is given to us and so this becomes my final elevation and final plan they can ask you where is point d so in that case we can measure this much distance and say that point d is 20 above hp and so and so distance in front of vp that is our first problem because plan is below xy the point is still in first quadrant so this job is done now as the problem contains ambiguity that angle you could have taken it other way around also in that case you would have rotated it up and this rotation would have shifted point D whose plan was below XY to plan above XY and when plan and elevation both are above XY it will be automatically going in second quadrant so you will have to draw a separate figure when the rotation is in the opposite direction elevation length will still remain the same because whether you rotate 45 here or 45 here it will be still the same point and we will get point D dash and in that case we can again measure the distance and answer but this is this is very important rotation in one view movement parallel to x y in other angle with VP distance from VP will be seen in plan angle with HP distance from HP will be seen in elevation in all the cases we should start with the fully defined point and initially consider line to be parallel to HP and VP that is parallel to XY and initial points we name as D1, D1 dash, 
like that. So at every stage we know where we are. So that is first problem. In the second problem it is given in slightly different way. I am not showing drawing the full figure as such. Again the line is one length is given, one point is given. So it is 15 above is E dash and 30 in front of is E. I will initially consider the line to be parallel to HP and VP. I will name this as F1 dash and F1. So far so good. Job is done. Initially the line is considered parallel to HP and VP both. Then what he says is point F is 45 above HP. See what we did here. We found the distance of point D from VP. Because rotation was given. Now it is 45 above HP. And line is still parallel to VP. So we can see the rotation in elevation. So I will have to rotate it like this. But I am not given the angle. By how much angle I should rotate. But it is given that point F. I, start, I should start rotating from E. Such that point F reaches 45 degree, 45 mm. 45 above HP. So I will draw a line parallel and call this as path of F dash. F dash should be somewhere at this height. Remember that? And it should be at this distance. So ultimately I get point F. And I draw this. And rotation in one view is movement parallel to X, Y in other. So this will come down and I will get F. So there is a perfect relation. This is just a trigonometry that true length this angle we call it as theta. Angle with HP is always theta. Angle with VP is always phi. There is always a relation between true length and theta. We get distance of point from HP. We are given distance of point from HP and true length. We can very well draw this triangle. What is so great? So we get uh, projections in the second case. Measure this theta. That is the required one. And when we go for the third one third problem then what we have he has given one projector and the other projector distance is 60 given to us so far so good point G is 20 above and 50 in front of actually I would have started with this but I don't have the true length at all so I can't do anything Right. Then I am given point H. So I have drawn. Where should I draw projector of H? So that's why this is given. Distance between projectors is 60. So G, G dash I have drawn. So draw a line at 60. On that take 20 above. So this will be H dash. And 10 in front of H. So you are given the projections directly. Now, elevation is parallel to XY. So, how would be the line? Elevation parallel to XY, line is parallel to HP. And inclined to VP. Angle with VP will be seen in plan. So, this must be the angle made by the line with VP. And if one view is parallel to XY, other view must be the true length. And this should be the true length. Actually, we reach this point C. This was the solution. This is the solution. What he has given us is the solution. And now asking us to find uh, true length and whatever is the angle. So we will describe this line GH to be parallel to HP. Making so and so angle with VP. And true length is this. Right? So this problem you have to solve in two ways. This is the second one. And the third one projections are given. We will have to find out the angles and true length right? and write down that statement rotation in one view so you write it somewhere else these statements I will be repeating hundred times throughout the course rotation in one view is movement parallel to x y in other rotation in one view is movement parallel to x y in other so you rotate in plan Elevation will move parallel to XY. Rotation of the elevation. Plan will move parallel to XY. Rotation in one view. Is movement parallel to XY. 
in the other right distance from hp distance from hp comma angle with hp distance from hp comma angle with hp will be seen in elevation will be seen in elevation it has to be seen in the front view distance from vp distance from vp and angle with vp and angle with vp will be seen in plan will be seen in plan now for lines only this next statement if one view is parallel to xy if one view is parallel to xy other view gives other view gives true length and true angle other view gives true length and true angle see elevation parallel to xy elevation parallel to xy plan will show you true length and true angle plan parallel to xy elevation will show you true length true angle again elevation parallel to xy plan will show you true length true angle right so these are the important statements and now solve these this problem twice this and this you are so required to specify point d the point d is 20 above and how much in front of or how much is behind two problems here you will have to write the angle angle made by the line with hp is so and so and here you will have to specify true length as well as angle i will write down next three four problems and we will still continue with parallel to one of the planes line pq has length 80 and is parallel to vp the plan length is 50 draw projections draw projections if p is 20 above hp and 20 in front of vp anyone else maske maske amme ela pande kuna okay so that is first problem line uv has elevation parallel to xy
point u is 20 or other 25 above hp and 10 in front of vp True length of line is sixty millimeters and it makes forty five degrees. With VP <coughs> draw projections. I am not going to give any clue for this. There are all the wordings which will be uh, converting themselves into something else. Like line has length 80 parallel to VP. If line is parallel to VP, plan is parallel to XY. True length will be seen in elevation. Plan length is 50. See, we used to rotate the elevation to get the plan length. Now it is other way around. Plan length is given. Onto that you will have to rotate the elevation. We are considering the other. There is only one triangle, two triangles. See, in our cases, this is the problem that we are always solving. So far as elevation is concerned, see there is a relation between true length, theta, plan length. True length and theta is given, you will get plan length. <coughs> if you are given plan length and true length, you can get theta. If you are given plan length and height, you can get true length and theta. Okay, so there are unknowns like this is one unknown, which you can call it as say x1. This is another unknown x2. This is another unknown x3, and this is x4. Out of these four, any two are given, you are through. True length and theta is given, you can find this height and this. You are given plan length and true angle. So you will still draw the projector, draw this, you are constructing this triangle. It is as simple as that. It is as simple as that. It is a triangle which has got x1, x4 and x3 as the sides. And of course any two are given, you are through. You can construct that triangle. It is always a right angle triangle. One problem we have solved, we were having point this point and this point and true length so we rotated it we can always do that one problem we solved we had plan length actually that was the distance between the projectors at that time and these heights were given so we could solve it and the same triangle is there in the plan so two things given we can solve the triangle it is like that actually so you will have to in interfere with it like that so plan length is given x4 we are given true length, so we can always construct the triangle. We can get theta. We can get that other point. Similarly here, line UV has elevation parallel to XY. So line is parallel to HP. Point is given. True length is given as 60. And it is making 45 degrees. So this is a straightforward problem. Here true length and angle is given to us. So job is simple. Okay? Correct.